CFIRS evolved from viewing climate change not as a problem but as an opportunity, you know, to roll our sleeves up and get behind solutions. And I think, you know, there's something in that for everybody. Climate change is very real, it's happening now, we have a finite amount of time to act and there are known solutions for us all to get behind if we want to have a better future for the planet. Tim Flannery was the introduction to seaweed for Seaforest. It was through Tim that we learned that the cultivation of seaweed has huge potential to capture enormous amounts of carbon and really have a meaningful impact on curbing climate change. In 2016, the CSIRO and James Cook University discovered that feeding a very small amount of a native seaweed called Asparagopsis to livestock would virtually eliminate methane emissions. Methane emissions are this, from livestock production is the second largest contributor to greenhouse gas emissions globally, you know, second, second only to the generation of electricity. You know, at the time, this game-changing discovery had one bottleneck and that's no one in the world was commercially cultivating it. Stephen and I came together and we founded Seaforest um, with the goal of being the largest and first commercial producer of asparagopsis in the world. You know, having the support of the world's leading scientists led by Professor Rocky Denise, we've unlocked the secrets behind you know, the science and technology that drives this commercial cultivation of the seaweed. You know, over the past three years, we've developed methods for land and marine-based farming of the seaweed. You know, we've been growing the seaweed in hay trap ponds and in the hatchery and, and now have an 1800 hectare marine lease where we're able to cultivate up to 7,000 tonnes, if not more, of the seaweed per annum, which will feed over 100,000 head of cattle. Look, Asparagopsis has this ability somehow to interfere with the, the microbes that would like to produce methane in, in the, the stomach of cows. And you know, it takes only a tiny bit, it takes 25 grams of Asparagopsis to remove up to 98% of the methane that a cow produces. And what's even more amazing than that is that all of that energy that would go to make the methane is instead used by the cow. So it's like giving a cow 20% more feed. They're healthier, they grow faster, they produce more. Seaweeds are some of the fastest growing plants on the planet. You know, the, the entire organism is always photosynthesizing. Unlike trees where only the leaves photosynthesize and, and the trunks don't, the entire organism in the seaweed is growing all the time, so they have the capacity to grow really, really quickly. They're also very low impact. They're what we call a zero input crop because you don't have to water them, fertilize them. They're unimpacted by droughts or floods. And so they hold remarkable potential for combating climate change through the drawdown of CO2. The potential for us to draw down huge amounts of CO2 through photosynthesis in the ocean is right in front of us and, and unlocking the capability to be able to cultivate seaweed, to be able to breed and have sustainable seaweed aquaculture is going to help us reach that goal and really curb climate change.